Booker T personal doesn't even begin to describe it. Here this evening, as a determined and focused, Zach Mason makes his walk to the squared circle. Normally smiling, normally a little bit more happy to be here. Tonight, business is on his mind. I mean, come on, I mean, you, you've had uh, partners before, you had good friends, and then you guys have a, a big falling out. It could have been over a girl, it could have been whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's not something you want to happen, but at the end of the day as well, if we got to fight, if we got to do this, let's do it. Well, this is even bigger than, you know, fighting over a potential romantic partner. <laughs> this is Warren Johnson turned his back on his brother. I mean, former tag team champions, former multi-time tag team champions. I mean, two young hot prospects here in reality wrestling that I thought he had a future, perhaps in the tag team division elsewhere around the world. Well, the numbers game always in the side of Warren Johnson as of late, flanked by two of his flunkies from the renegades of wrestling, OB and Rudy Garza. <laughs> See, man, I, I've seen this happen uh, many, many times in my lifetime. You know, um, buddy of mine, you know, we, we end up having disagreements and he's going to run with the bad crowd and try to fill up, you know, his, his ego up again, try to build himself back to, to make himself feel like he's something that he's not. Uh, you know what? I, 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 I like it. But I don't like it because these guys right here, like I say, they had something. The Renegades of Wrestling, we know what these guys are about. They're about destruction. They're about tearing down the, the reality of wrestling brand. They, they call themselves the rope, the Renegades of Wrestling. You gotta be kidding me. Absolutely, they've made their presence felt here at the row for several months. I mean, we remember when Warren Johnson aligned himself with the Renegades of Wrestling. It was in the same evening that we saw the return of G.I. Bro. Let me tell you something. It was, it doesn't look like Zach Mason is running or anything. It doesn't look like he's intimidated by the Renegades of Wrestling. It doesn't look like he's intimidated by Warren Johnson. And I understand. I've, I've had to actually get into it with a, you know, a, a gang member back in the day. They called themselves the Smurfs. You know what I mean? And, and my thing was... If I Doesn't could, sound like the most intimidating <laughs> gang in the world. <laughs> Trust me, they were some bad dudes. But, but my thing was, I didn't care, man. I said, if I could just get one of them, if I could just get my hands on one of them, I'll be happy. And I think that's what Zach Mason is thinking about tonight, just getting his hands on Warren Johnson. Well, Warren is wearing blue, so it would be apropos for him to represent the Smurfs in this analogy. <laughs> As these two... Here we go. Tie up in the middle of the ring. Zach Mason, obviously size and strength would be his advantage. Warren Johnson in the blue and white. His advantage, speed and agility. Yeah, I mean, uh, but but you got to think about the power of uh, of Zach Mason. This kid is, you know, grown. I mean, I remember when, when Zach Mason came to reality wrestling about 16 years old, and now he looked like a, <laughs> a grown man. You got to put it in your terms. He's a grown man, right? <laughs> grown man. <laughs> He's a grown man. And, and maybe that's the thing right there. Warren Johnson and, and Zach Mason, they were about the same size when they first hooked up. And then you see the, the size difference in Zach Mason. You got to wonder, did, oh, look at that. did, did Zach Beautiful. outgrow Warren Johnson as far as being looked at as a guy who could perhaps make it to the next level in this business? You think that's it? Uh, I think that, that that's a great point. Not only did he outgrow him in his actual physical stature, but in his abilities and, and his prospect and potential. You could be right. Warren Johnson, jealous of that. Wanted, wanted to stop that. You remember Zach Mason, even when he was still in that tag team with Warren Johnson, he ran the gambit in one night. He rose to wrestling royalty, won a single night tournament, yeah. was given that championship ring. The thing is, you know, I don't, I don't want to take any fault or anything like that, but I, I actually, I, I know it even, you know, with, when the tag team would go out there and do something great, do something really good, I would always look at Zach Mason and say, guys are looking really good. And, and maybe, you know, Warren took it the wrong way. I don't know, but aligning himself with the Renegades, there again, for me, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but for him, it could be the best thing he possibly could have did at this point. Well, look, you've been in several tag teams in your illustrious career, most famously with your brother as a part of Hall of Fame. Beautiful. Look at that big hip toss right there. Cover. Hip lock, big giant One, hip lock. Two. 
most famously with your brother, but also Rob Van Dam, Goldust, the list goes on and on. How, how do you keep a successful tag team together? I, it feels like it, every team that you've even been a part of, one outgrows the other. Yeah, I mean, success, man. That's what it is. Success uh, makes a great tag team. But um, success could break up a tag team as well because one may be looked at it one way and the other may be looked at another way. And that right there, man, it's, it's, it, it, Beautiful could, it, it could be toxic. It really could be. Seriously. But to me, what does it say? about Warren Johnson to come out here with the Renegades of Wrestling. He knew that this is a blood feud between these but two. Man, I mean, why, to have the, why have the backup? Come on, Brad. It's past that. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been in a uh, fight or before in your life, but you you want the upper hand. You want to be able to go out there and you, sometimes just beat up a guy. You don't want to get actually hit sometimes. Oh, oh, yeah. But right now, he's getting, he's getting banged up a little bit. Well, that, but here comes the Renegades. They're, they're, they're actually interjecting. And just like I thought they would. Well, here we go. Well, there's OB, the young OB. B. Last saw him back in February. Oh, see, see what oh, I'm look talking about? Look at that, Rudy Garza. Exactly what I'm talking about right there. These guys come out here with a plan. Warren Johnson, you know, I don't know if he's pretty much trying to stake the claim as leader of the Renegades, but he seems to be a shot caller here tonight with these young guys. If you notice, he, he got the younger crop of the Renegades out here, not the uh, elder statesmen of the Renegades. Well, we need to watch out around the barricades. Keep your women and children in a safe distance. I have a feeling this one could get out of hand. But then again, Rudy Garza is out. I mean, I don't know who's leading this band. Uh, to me, Warren Johnson seems like the leader as far as I'm concerned. He's the one calling the shots. He's the one doing all the talking. Oh! Overhand right there from Zach Mason to Warren Johnson. Zach Zilla. Oh! That's what he likes to call himself, Zach Zilla. And I tell you, the confidence of this kid tells me that he, 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 he needs business tonight. And he wants to get the thing of a quick look at that. Body avalanche into the corner. Oh. Oh, snake eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful right there. Shades of Texas wrestling legend, The Undertaker. Oh, I've seen this before right here. We're, we're, we're looking to go for a ride right here. Oh, no. Look at this, the strike. Oh, and just flapjacks him right on his face. Cover, one, two, kick out. See, this is where, you know, Warren Johnson needs to just pour it on. I can tell he's he's thinking a little too much. He, the, the playbook is totally not registered in his head as far as, what do I want to go next? What do I want to take this kid? What ride do I want to take him on? You got to know that both times. See what I mean? There it is. Exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Warren Johnson going for the low blow. Uh, referee Isaac Bouillon had it scouted almost and stopped him. And now a rake to the eyes. Rake to the eyes. The referee didn't see a book. Come on now. No, no. I mean, the referee didn't see it, but, you know, what, what is Warren Johnson supposed to do? I mean, it's an advantage here I can take. Uh, the referee's out of position. I'm going to take it. But don't you want to win this match on your own Come valor? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Brad. It's not about valor anymore right now, these two. I, I, I can understand if, if uh, Warren Johnson felt like he was uh, equal or, or something like that. Warren Johnson said, look, man, you're getting all the power, you're getting one, all the praise, two. And, and now I'm going to take it all away from you. All, everything that you've built, I'm going to just crash it all down. And that's what, you know, come on, man. Have you ever heard of the term hater? I, I have. I have definitely heard, heard of the term hater, and a lot of people characterize Warren Johnson as that. But I got to tell you, Book, Warren coming in here with confidence, using some less than legal means to get the job done, but looking very confident out there. He's looking real good right now. He's looking, looking very, very solid. Uh, you can hear the bells ringing. Um, <laughs> almost. Uh, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 Warren Johnson is looking really good. I don't know what this is called right now, but some kind of octopus, and he's stretching Zach Mason out. Zach's going to have to do something, perhaps get to that bottom rope. Zach Mason looking for it, trying to extend either an arm or a leg to break this hold, force Warren Johnson to break it. Oh, he gets the, the two legs around the bottom rope. Referee counting, telling Warren Johnson he needs to break it, but Warren, veteran-like maneuver. I mean, come on, you got five count. Uh, and you want to use every second. If you can get up to four and a half and uh, break that count, uh, do it. That's what that, that's my suggestion. Because you got a big guy like Zach Mason. You want to 
take, like I say there again, all the advantages you possibly can. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three. Oh, man. Wow. Looked like Warren Johnson may have landed on, uh, on his neck. Let me tell you something. Zach Zilla, uh, the, the kid's got a lot of power. I, I see him in his gym training. I'm mean, at 10 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, could come through just to pick up the mail. Who's in the gym training? Zach Zilla. You're not coming to work out? No. Just to pick up the mail, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Shot to the gut there from Warren Johnson oh, just going to the outside. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? I, I really can't, you know, hold that against Warren Johnson right there going low bridge to the tights right straight out of the ring right there. That's just a veteran. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Hold on. And a kick to the gut. Oh, come on. Come on. Bouillard. Bouillard, do your job. Come on, Bouillard. Oh, my goodness. Isaac Bouillard has just kicked out from ringside, barred from ringside. Both oh, members see, of the Renegade ejected them both. That's what I'm talking about. These guys, they, they could have easily done that and got away with it, but you don't want to do something directly in front of the ref's eyes. Come on, guys. Come on. You got to be smarter than that if you're going to do it. Our referee exercising a little bit of leniency, knowing what this match means to both men, not going to allow that to be a disqualification. No one wants this to end that way. Got to applaud him for that decision. Now, Isaac Bouillon, he's a, a referee. I got to get this kid a lot of, a lot of props. He, he's taking control. Even though I wanted to fire him a couple of times, he's taking control tonight. Oh, when the Juan Valdez gets in and the honesty comes out. <laughs> Zach Mason now putting Warren Johnson on that top turnbuckle. There you go. And Warren trying to fight out of it. Oh! Moran right, kicking him off with that right boot. Looking for a DDT. We're looking for a tornado DDT, Wait a but minute. hanging him up. I don't, I don't think he got all of it, though. He didn't get it much, but he got a oh, wow. reverse neck breaker. Zach Mason's down. Cover here. One, two. And if Warren Johnson didn't take that extra second to catch yeah, his breath. Yeah, that's the thing right there. You, you got to be, a, a, you know, Johnny on the spot when you see a, a cover like that. You, because, uh, there again, it's three seconds. Uh, a guy can wake up in three seconds, man. You got to get in there. You got to do it quick. This, this capacity crowd here at Swing Vote trying to get behind Zach Mason. Let's hear you honk your horns for Zach Mason. Zach finding his way up to a vertical base. I don't, uh, you know what? I don't see Warren Johnson winning this fight right here. He needs to. He needs to switch this position. He needs to do it quick. He's in a bad position. I don't think. He, wait a minute. Well, that snap wow. takeover. Very impressive there from Warren Johnson. Schoolboy. One, two. Wow! Almost. We saw that same move earlier. Got a pinfall this time. No go. Oh. And a back elbow. Knocking Warren Johnson all the way across the ring. Zach Mason trying to send him into the turnbuckle. Reversal from Warren. Wow. And a big lariat coming out of the corner. Oh, and another one. One more again. Here we go. Belly to belly, wow. overhead suplex. And I tell you right there, Warren Johnson probably is looking for his buddies right now at this time, but nobody's home. Zach Mason has him in his sights. You see the eyes of Zach Mason. They're about to pop out of his skull. He wants to put this behind him. He wants to move on to greener pastures. Great move right there by Warren Johnson, but he Wait got caught. He got caught. Got him in a pump, pump handle. And he got it. Cover. That's it. One, two, throw. You got me. Two and a half. Warren Johnson looked like he, he I would tell you, he, he's been working on his stamina to be able to kick out a, a move like that from Zach Mason. Zach Zilla, he's got to be working that hard. Now Zach Mason measuring his former brother-in-arms, his former teammate. They were champions together. I tell you, Zach needs to put the thing away. He needs to do it quick. Oh, look at that. Warren Johnson again. Headlock takeover. Thing kick is, to the middle of the gut. Thing is, Warren's pulling out a whole lot of tricks tonight that I've never oh, seen him do before. Oh, like that. springboard DDT. Can he get the, can he capitalize? Can he get the advantage? Rolls him over, cover. There One, he didn't hook the two, leg. He didn't hook the leg. Oh. 
Not a deep hook on that lateral press. Not able to get the three count. But also the signs of exhaustion are in. And now the signs of frustration are showing. Well, like I told you, I mean, just, just, just the deep hook. Come on, just, just off that back leg. I mean, the thing could be over with right now, but those little bitty small, small amateur mistakes. Oh, going for it again a second time for a low blow. Oh, referee got caught up in that. Wait a minute, Zach Mason with a low blow on Warren Johnson. Hey, sometimes, like I said earlier, if you ain't cheap, you That's ain't trying. That's gotta be all. Let's One, take it home, two, baby. Three, Zach Mason gets the victory. Wow. Well, I guess poetic justice is a way that you can call it. The very thing that ended their friendship, ended their team, got Zach Mason the victory I mean, tonight. You've heard it. I mean, turnabout is fair play. Zach Mason went out there and, you know, he got the upper edge when the two renegade members were tossed. And my thing is this. What a better way to just throw it in an old buddy's face, you know? You know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you ain't gonna fool me again. As GW once said, <laughs> Zach Mason, though, putting this behind him. Warren Johnson is now in the past. Zach Mason can look to the future. Will that be a, the future of Reality of Wrestling Championship gold? We will find out. But for now, he is victorious at Swing Vote. Mind me, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do.